Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me. We're just going to take a thankful moment. We're going to be reading Psalm 29. I'm about at the end of my readings for this month. I was going to read Psalm 29, or Psalms, the Psalms, and the Proverbs through in the month of September, and I'm just about to get there and make it. So, praise the Lord. These are really beautiful readings. There's just rich scriptures that you reach and you uh, see your another one of your favorite scriptures over and over and over in this psalm. Well, the Lord is my helper, and that's what we're calling on the Lord for. Be our helper, Lord. But we also want to be the Lord's helper right now. Be his voice, his hands, his feet. Minister where we can. And I know that you're doing a good job of that. I know that uh, I just am amazed seeing the Spirit of the Lord working the people of God right now. And uh, He is doing what He said He would do in the end times, that we would have dreams and visions, and His Spirit would be poured out on all flesh. So we are watching those things happen. We're also watching judgment and justice happen and about to happen in an even bigger way. And we pray for those that are going through calamities and have had fierce and terrible things come to their areas. We pray for the homeless. And Lord, we do that right now. We thank you for your care of us, for your provision and protection, for Psalm 91 protection over the saints and ministers of God and over their families. We pray for those that are homeless this day, Lord, that you put it on the hearts of men and women to do what they can to help those that are in need right now. And uh, just to remember that we can be there through circumstances as well and let our hearts be open and ready to help whenever you send us in a direction or when we see a need that we do not walk to the other side of the road, but uh, that we do like the Good Samaritan and we offer the help that we have available to help with. Lord, we pray for La Palma, the people that are there tonight, the situation that is there. We pray for salvation of souls. We pray for peace in people's hearts. And we pray for protection. We thank you for leading us and guiding us. We pray for our countries and their leadership, that that leadership comes under you, Lord, and that we do have a divine turnaround in our nations. We thank you, Lord, right now for all you are doing. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 29. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars, yea, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divideth the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness, the Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord maketh the hinds to calve, and discovereth the forest. And in his temple doth every one speak of his glory. The Lord setteth upon the flood. Yea, the Lord setteth king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. And I spent time praying for that to die for us, for strength and for peace. And I was going to have to make a hard decision one time, the Lord gave me the scripture, wait upon the Lord, be of good courage, and he will strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, upon the Lord. So we are waiting upon the Lord. We are standing with the Lord, and we're trusting him with all of our heart and not leaning on our own understanding. And we are thankful, Lord, for your good plan and that we can stand with you. Bless my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Give them good, sweet peace and sleep this night. And Father, I pray for any that may stop by this channel 
if they have not given their heart to you, that they would do that now. We are in perilous times, and it's time to give our heart to you. It's time for the backslider and prodigal to return. No more playing. It's time to get serious, to be sober and vigilant, for our souls could be required of us this day. If you need to give your heart to the Lord, we're told in Acts 2.38 to repent, to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. John 3.16 tells us the Father loved us so much that he gave his Son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through the Son. I pray that we are all diligent to examine ourselves and make sure we're in the faith. Jesus loves us so much. I love you. Be blessed.